We leave you tonight with some added texture to the dairy debate raging across this country. It's all about the controversy over butter. CTV's Geneviève Beauchemin with the hard truth. Talk of butter is on the menu around kitchen tables in this country. Butter is harder. Than it so much so, the our neighbors to the south are poking a little fun. That's right, hard butter. America's like, I can't believe it's a news story. <laughs> it is, and the dairy farmers of Canada are now taking it seriously enough to recommend some members modify cow feed for now. To look at, at the science of it, to, to look at, you know, the information that is out there. Buttergate began with this tweet from a food writer suggesting a consistency change, and a flurry of butterers and bakers agreed. Food scientist Sylvain Charlevoix offered a theory. Butter's hard. And palm oil is bad. Palm oil is widely used in processed foods like cookies and ice cream, but its harvest is blamed for the deforestation of the rainforest. Turns out palm oil and derivatives are also used in some cow feed. We have fed palm oil in the past to our cows, and actually, perhaps we do right now unknowingly because we buy commercial supplements. A recipe to boost the yield of butter fat that has been used for years, with most dairy consumers unaware. And that rang alarm bells around the world about health and environmental concerns. Many food scientists, though, say the theory of butter smoothness that launched all this is purely anecdotal. I would propose that maybe we should be doing a little study on this. That would probably take a couple of days showing that milk fat or butter is in fact harder. It could be that some are just taking a closer look at their ingredients. After all, COVID home baking has boosted sales. Farmer Douglas Morrison says he's enjoyed butter for 61 years and sees no difference. My girlfriend used 12 pounds of butter to make shortbread cookies over Christmas and supplied half of Eastern Canada and she didn't complain about the butter, so. But while consistency was the starter, the main question now has turned to ethics. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.